Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. So this video is uh, about the continuation of the flying birds game. So in the last tutorial we have seen uh, how to create a square score for a player. So like this we have created. So we have created a score and we have created an obstacle. Uh, so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make a dynamic obstacle right now it's static so uh, the idea is I am going to make a dynamic obstacle so let's begin so what I'm going to do is I am going to delete these two obstacle so we have the obstacle here just make a folder called a prefab And then drag and drop the obstacle. Make sure the obstacle you have scrolling and obstacle pause the script. Delete the obstacle. So let's create a script called uh, what can we name? Maybe. obstacle creator okay this is fine so let's have the script uh, in older perfect open the script so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, have a first of all we are going to create the obstacle dynamically in the scene so that is a task so we want to create a dynamic obstacle so that is a task in this video and it's going to be most probably final video or we can have one more video let's see depending upon the situation so let's begin so i'm going to have a public game object obstacle prefab so just drag and drop the prefab here so this variable is going to have obstacle so generally we are going to have uh, different different uh, layers of your uh, obstacle different different portions so we in order to do that we are going to have maybe uh, maybe four types of varieties so I'm going to have uh, maybe five I'll go with five so I am going to create public int obstacle total size. So I am going to have five types of obstacle. Okay. You can change publicly also, public in public also. So oh, we are we're going to have five types of obstacles. Um next we are going to have uh, next we are going to uh, store your obstacle in a particular game object so uh, different sizes so that we can be able to reuse in the project uh, so what i'm going to do instead of instantiation instantiation and destroying the particular obstacle we don't want to do we are going to resize the obstacle whenever we create it so since it's a infinite game so i'm going to do public game objects obstacle so this is going to be stored once it's created so go to the white start obstacle equal to new game object we want to see we want to tell how much space we require so I am going to have obstacle total size and we are going to add a obstacle in a prefabs obstacle prefab size again total size we have and then I plus plus okay so next we are going to 
placed all the five obstacle in our obstacle array okay so just it's going to fetch the it's going to fetch just a minute change here obstacle dot obstacle prefab so here we are going to have going to get the prefabs and we are going to instantiate and we are going to put in a game object space which we allocated as a five size so it's going to create five obstacle prefabs and it's going to put inside the obstacle okay and we are going to have and we are going to have some uh, size or something so let's create size as let's create uh, uh, basic portion where we want to put so i am creating vector to beginning beginning obstacle portion okay equal to new vector 2 not vector 3 make sure that you want to have vector 2 not vector 3 so i am going to have maybe minus 10 comma minus 15 so minus 15 make sure that uh, it need to be away from outside the position so make sure that you need to have outside that uh, outside of the screen so i just created the outside portion is 10 to 15 x and y minus 10 at minus 50 so comma so we have instantiated and we are going to give beginning portion and the comma rotation quaternion dot rotation So identity it's rotation it's going to be the same as what we have here so i don't want to do only portion i am just giving this portion so it's going to create so it's going to say tell the total size i need five and it's going to create five types of five sizes of obstacle and going to store in array let's see what's happened so hit play so you can able to see five types of obstacle it has been created here and it is outside the scene it is not inside so it has a five types of obstacle all obstacles in same position and it has been stored in obstacle array perfect so everything is perfect now so next what we are going to do is so we go we are uh, uh, we are going to create uh, uh, we are going to create some uh, uh, time to instantiate the obstacle so that is our next task so uh, I am going to create float AI time equal to sometime maybe five seconds I'm just giving three seconds okay and AI time equal to AI time minus time dot delta time. So, so generally, let's see what is printing. It's like similar like timer. So let's see. So I just disable the player because it's keep on. Okay, let's have console here. Yeah. Maybe common. Okay, perfect. So let's play and see what it's doing. So you can able to see 
the timer is running from on to sorry let me do from right now it's running some timer from 3 to 1 it's going negative I don't want to do negative so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make if a i timer is lesser than 0 I'm going to stop the timer to 0 okay let's see it's very clear on play so it's started from some time from 3 or something and it's going to reach at 0 and it will stop to 0 it won't go more than 0 so what we are going to do is next we are going to uh, restart the timer again to 4 I mean for again to the beginning of a time so in order to do that instead of 0 I am going to make 3 again okay so let's see it will resist resetting or not perfect actually it's resetting perfectly so next what we are going to do is we are going to set the position uh, position which we created here that is our idea whenever it's lesser than zero we are, go we are going to create a position so uh, obstacle of we want to check in which object we want to do so I'm going to have one int variable int current obstacle count so it's going to by default it will zero so every time it's going to increment plus plus so it will done here can do here I think dot transform dot position equal to new vector 2 so x position I am going maybe we can give some static position and right now I just give 10 point f ok x position we don't have any change actually uh, let me check on here let's, let's check sorry there is uh, some issue with laying down layer ok no issue so let me check on this so by default it will be 0 or something x so I can make instantiated at 10 it will stop from 10 10 or will be good at will be 12 yeah so let me instantiate the x position on 12 okay and y position is going to be a random position for random dot range so you want to find at which position we want to random so uh, in order to do that I am going to have one two mean position I mean so y position you can either have height top to bottom so we want to check at which position we need to have so x minimum position you can track from 1.252 so 1.2.32 okay minus so let me start to uh, max y max will be 3.25 so let's create one floating variable float y anchor y max position 3.25 f okay 
and then float anchor y min position so let me let us check what is the minimum position y min we can go till this one point minus one point three will be fine not lesser than minus one point three yeah so that's it so we are going to give variation on these two portions so let's we try it out so random draw range will be y mean comma y max so it's going to random in this portion and it's going to store obstacle in transform that portion so everything is done now and next issue is if current obstacle crowd is greater than or equal to total obstacle count we are going to reset so current obstacle count is going to be zero so that's it so we are trying to create a portion and we are going to place a x portion and y portion let me name x also float anchor x pose so let's make as public so that we can change whenever we want So let's try to play and we'll see. Uh, before that, we delete this, this obstacle. Okay, let's play and see. Perfect. So it's started creating obstacles. Perfect. But the next issue is that. Uh, we don't want to go more I think I think this is fine so that's it let's we enable the rigid body so go to the player and enable the rigid body let's see maximize and see what's happening so we'll try to play tap tap Okay, perfect. Let me try one more time. Maybe. That's it. Okay, in this way you can be able to make. Uh, I think this is a little bit issue. Maybe let's change to X two. little bit lesser 2.19 so that I don't go very high perfect now it's fine so in this way you can able to create uh, Runtime uh, infinite scrolling game is similar like yeah, Flappy Bird game. So that's it. So thank you and thanks for watching.